All right, it's dance night again. So where else would I be? But on top of a parking garage. So we're gonna take some self portraits, not selfies. Selfies are for savages. So yeah, dance night. Um, I've been trying really hard to find some models that would come out and shoot. Uh, see how well that's going for me. Yeah, so I'm going to be the model tonight. Okay, so there's two basic ways you can take self-portraits. Uh, we're going to go over both of them tonight. Uh, the first one is the old-fashioned, you know, 10-second timer, run and get in your spot and take a picture, come back, look at it. Uh, the second one is um, I know Canon has and probably every other smartphone has. They have an app. Uh, Canon is called um, Camera Connect. It, uh, you can download it from all the stores and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of something like, I don't even know if you can see that, but it uh, lets you connect wirelessly to your phone and then your phone becomes the live view monitor on your camera and you can control all your, pretty much all your functions, shutter speed, aperture, um, ISO, all that the only thing you can't you can't zoom your lens in and out but you can like tap to focus and all that so it's pretty neat um, I don't really like to use the Canon app because it's laggy it chews through your battery on both your phone and your camera so it's limited but we're gonna do that with some of the uh, more close-up shots that I'm gonna do myself tonight so we're gonna get set up I'm gonna explain the scene here and we're gonna go all right, so when you're looking at your scene, you want to know where your lighting is coming from. Um, everything here is going to be all natural light because I'm not bringing strobes to shoot pictures of myself. So we have the sun coming from this way. It's behind some clouds right now, so it's actually providing some really nice light. I probably have about, I'd say, a half hour, 45 minutes before it drops down over that hill. Um, so I'm going to start with this wall here so uh, the method I'm going to start with is the 10 second timer and go so what you want to do is set something up to focus on that's going to be on your focal plane so I'm planning on kind of leaning against that wall so I'm going to put uh, this up there and focus on it uh, you're going to want to be at like a higher aperture like f7 or 5.6 something like that to give yourself a little bit of leeway in your focal plane uh, so you don't want to be out of focus also you want to be a little bit wider on your uh, lens than you would normally because your composition is not going to be perfect taking pictures of yourself because you can't move the camera so you'll have to fix that in post by cropping in a little bit so I'm probably going to go with uh, 35 because I'm at 35 right now video taping. Now I'm at 24. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna be at 24 because this is gonna be full body shot. So I wanna have that leeway. So I'm gonna go focus um, and, you know, take some pictures. All right, so that was the first setup and I swear to God, it looks like it's gonna rain, so we might have to uh, hurry this along a little bit. So I did a couple sets standing there just fiddling around. I'm not really a model, so I did the best I can. Uh, second set, I wanna do some uh, sitting with my back against the wall there. You know, nothing's gonna be real. I'm not gonna say not creative because I'm taking pictures of myself and that's a hard thing to do. But as far as using backdrops, maybe I will go that way because the light's pretty even. 
but uh, as far as you know being mobile and finding that right composition it's hard to do by yourself and I'm gonna try not to ruin all my stuff by getting it all wet so um, same trick I'm going to put my Gatorade bottle down there on the ground where my head's gonna be of course I'm gonna be at like I think I was at 5.6 F5.6 my ISO was 800 I had to bump that up because I wanted to keep around two hundredth of a second uh, shutter speed. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do some sitting poses right there and we'll go on to the next set. Well, it's raining, so I know my camera is uh, you know, weather sealed, but I'm still not gonna stand out in the rain with it and, risk ruining it so I've taken refuge under this little awning here in a stairwell I'm still on the roof um, I might try a few minutes to wait it out it's only 20 after 6 and it's kind of acting like it wants to fizzle out but you know who knows yeah so at least I got a few shots in if that's all the video is then that's all the video is but uh, still practicing still making something so okay so the rain has stopped uh, so we're going to use the Canon app now for some uh, you know headshots or chest up stuff like that I'm worried the phone's not going to be in the shot so all you got to do is you open your Canon Connect app it's obviously for Canon cameras I'm sure all the other ones have an app too that can remote control it and you follow the steps um, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky uh, but basically you're connecting uh, through a Wi-Fi network it makes its own Wi-Fi network to talk to the phone then your phone is remotely seeing through your lens just like you would your regular iPhone the only problem is it's a little bit laggy and it eats the battery up on both your phone and your camera so we're going to take some pictures like that. I'll show them to you right now. And yeah. Stink bug right over there to bust it. So, phone is hot right now. I only shot for like, I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes. Not even ten minutes. And it heats up the phone pretty good. So that's why I don't like using the Canon app, I would rather set the intervalometer or do a 10 second timer and just do it that way. Okay, so it turned out to be not that bad. The rain held off. Um, I got the, I think, the shots that I wanted. Um, my favorite method by far is setting up an interval timer and setting up like 15 shots that's three seconds apart so you can get to your spot and then you'll hear the shutter click and you can just kind of move from there. Uh, the biggest thing with that method and the just a 10 second timer if your camera doesn't have an interval timer is pre-focusing where you're going to be. So you need to put something there before you get in focus on it and then you kind of have to stay in that spot. That's the biggest thing. Uh, the nice thing about the app is you can kind of move freely around and you can, you know, touch focus on the phone um, but then you know you got to constantly be looking at your phone because the little shutter button is there and you know it can move if by orientation your phone it flips and that so you gotta that's more for probably chest up where you can hide the phone down and then look at the camera and click it but uh, both methods work well so I needed a model didn't have one so I'm the model tonight I guess not a model.
you do is you open your phone uh, app to Canon Connect. Um, I'm sure other Sony and Nikon, I'm sure other shit, motherfucker.